Hey, look here from Makeoscopy. How much power is really in a AA battery? Now, I've uh, done my best to scratch out the logo so that people don't sue me, because, you know, America. So I'll put this on my multimeter and try to hold the leads on there as best I can. 1.296 out of uh, 1.5 volts is what you normally get out of one of these, but it's been used a little bit. So to uh, find out how much power I can suck out of this thing, I'm going to put it into my capacitor bank, which I've just uh, gotten through uh, sloppily soldering together. So I'm going to uh, put the AA in there and I'm going to show you what kind of power you can get out of it. Alright, here's my capacitor bank. Wow, it's on an official video carpet. Yeah, that's right. Luxury. So it appears to have, yeah, six capacitors and the battery is already in there. So I'm going to use my soldering iron as a makeshift poker to press the button. It's going to take a while now because it's got to charge up six capacitors. Oh, my dog is in here. Uh, Ross, can you please get Millie out of here? I don't want her sniffing at this and, uh, like, making a small electric sure explosion in her face. This is really stupid. I don't even know why I'm doing it, but it's really, really stupid, so don't do it. You see, the kid that wants to use a flyback transformer, but I wholeheartedly agree that we should use the flyback transformer. Yeah, so, can't hear it. Don't know if it's charged up or not. Let's find out. Hit the joy character laboratory. Safety is our number one concern. Alright, let's see what kind of power we can get out of here. Yep. That's and pretty nice power. The dog. Yes, yes, she probably wants out now. Alright. Oh, by the way, if you do choose to do this at home, whenever you're working with high voltages, put one hand behind your back or in your pocket or something. Just make sure you don't uh, touch anything with both of your hands, because then it'll go straight through your heart and then, yeah, you die. So, 1.22 volts. Or. Uh, yeah, I think that that's a little bit less than it was before. So, imagine all of... We can do the math and then figure out yeah. how many times bigger that explosion would be if we got all of the electricity out of a AA battery. Or how many times you can make that explosion. So, I think we got to try this a couple more times because, you know, America. All right, I'll try to uh, flip this back over. Put the battery in with one hand, which... What do you mean? Is it not in the The battery's not in there. Uh, oh, it's, it's only barely. So what we might use this charger circuit for is like a coil gun or something like that. Yeah, we've we've been working on a coil gun, but I don't really know how to do that. If you guys know how many turns of the coil we should do, then by all means tell me, because we made a really big coil and it doesn't seem to be doing anything. Maybe that has to do with the fact that it is wrapped around a PVC pipe, which is a, an insulator. I don't know if it's still charging, but... That, yeah, that might be a problem. Alright, test number two. By the way, I'm holding it with a soldering iron with good rubber grips. Probably still a horrible idea. Let's get this stray wire out of the way, because these two things should uh, allow it to short out across those, but they're not hot glued on well enough. <laughs> Alright, time to get a better view. Um, that's not good. Hmm. There we go. Hmm, I've seen bigger explosions than that. Probably didn't uh, charge up all the way. Well, this time I'll flip it over.
There we go, that's nice. Oh, but I have to use the button. Time to hold it by a capacitor, which is ex extremely stupid. Ah, this is so difficult. There we go. No, please don't. That's the biggest one we've had yet. Well, that's pretty nice. I think that's enough explosions for the day. All right. So, oh, let's find out how much voltage the battery still has. You see, sometimes I forget things. All right. Leads, leads, leads. And there we go. Yeah, that's definitely less than it was before. But only by, like, 0.3 volts. 0.2 volts, huh? Only off. 0.02? No, 0 0.2. 0 0.2 volts. Um, but it has 1.5 volts, so let's do the math. That's about. If our multimeter was correct and it actually was 0 0.02 volts, then that means that you could do that one explosion about 75 times in one battery life. And also, you could do all three of those uh, experiments, the total of the video, in about 15 times. Pretty cool, huh? So that's the kind of power that is in one AA battery times, like, a whole bunch. I don't know if the video got those explosions, but they were pretty darn loud, and I know that you can hear those. So, yeah, AA battery, wonderful kind of power. Think about that next time you put one of these in your pocket.